All right, guys, welcome back to the shop again for another episode of the series. Uh, as you can tell, a lot of work has been done since the last time you've seen the car. Uh, by the way, Christmas gift I got for myself, engine hoist, all put together, ready to go. As far as the car, everything's out. Axle's out. The knuckle is dropped on both sides. There's an axle right here. And there's an axle right here. I'm not too worried about them. Throw them away anyways because I'm getting new ones. Uh, one's rated, you know, good enough for the power I'm going to be putting down. Um, oil is draining. Everything's out of it. Um, everything's disconnected. Everything on top of the transmission is disconnected. The wiring harness is out of the way. We've already got kind of an idea of where we're going to support it down there funny enough this isn't actually the original engine hoist that i got i had to go pick this one up from harbor freight uh the one that i bought originally ended up not working it was missing stuff and it just wasn't right so got a refund on that and then went and bought this one this one was actually cheaper too so um it kind of worked out i'm excited we're finally ready to pull it um it's been a while because i had to wait obviously i had to wait for this thing first um but now that we have that, and now that it's truly ready, uh, we're good. So um, it is time to pull you out. So the engine's out. Uh, we got them pretty late last night. So we just we just went home right after. Wire harness got in the way a few times. I got to replace some stuff. But for the most part, it went pretty smooth. Other than the fact that uh, if you could tell, uh, when we raised the engine out, it wanted to come this way. So it would like it tilted this way. So the reason that the, the engine wanted to like tilt this way and like fall this way was because when we had the boom over... Uh, the engine bay hooking it up we didn't have it far enough to the center um so it was instead of pulling it so if it was in the center it would go up or you know up and then we'd pull it out this way we had the boom like right here so it was going like this way and it was gonna it wouldn't pull it up and then this way it would just pull it this way and all the weight would go this way so it you know tilted this way but we got it. So we got the motor uh, over here in the tire. This is exactly how we set it down because remember it, it went like forward and whatever, but um, it's here. Not, it didn't hit the ground, nothing broke. We got it safely in the tire and we went ahead and took the trans off and that's laying over here on the pallet. The clutch in here actually looks good, although obviously I'm not gonna use it, uh, but it's not bad. So um, that's still a newer clutch. This is gonna get torn up and uh, cleaned up and sold. So another setback I have to worry about is for the engine stand, which the backing plates right here because we were testing some stuff out. So if you originally, uh, you would know you would have to use transmission bolts to put on the, uh, the plate that goes on the stand. However, so these are the OEM Honda transmission bolts, uh, what they recommend you use. Uh, however, they are way too short. This is it out of the package. 
And if we are to see, uh, it would go in uh, this way. We'd only have, you know, about four threads sticking out to support the block. And that is gonna break. That's definitely not possible. So uh, I have to find, or I still have to get longer bolts with this thread pitch. I think it's uh, M12 by 1.25, and then we need like 100 millimeter. That's the situation about that. I just, I'm, there's so many headaches with the engine stand and stuff. I'm just so sick of it. I can't wait to just get everything cleaned up and like it'll i'll feel so much better when all this is done this is the situation right now um i'm gonna clean obviously all this up uh, i had to clean the floors which as you could tell they're probably still a little bit dirty but not as dirty as they were we put the motor we uh you know obviously everything happened over there some more fluids and stuff leaked everywhere but um that's why we've got uh like this stuff laying over here and then like scrubber because i spent last night uh cleaning up and um so yeah that's the story about that but um just a little update it's out so um it wasn't actually that bad the the issue was it would have went so much smoother if we would have moved the boom obviously to the middle so we can raise it up from the center and then move it out but since it tilted this way um and you know obviously we didn't get it as high up before it started tilting it was you know, hitting here, hitting here, we had that, it was hitting this, and it was just, it was a whole mess, but it's done, everything's out, it's done. Close out this video, I went ahead and spent some time cleaning everything up, uh, I went ahead and organized all these shelves back, because we definitely made a mess whenever we were pulling the motor out, just running over here, grabbing stuff, throwing it, but everything's all back organized, um, this one too, uh, I have Pretty much those stands over there. Um, everything's pretty much clean. It's got to dry up. Um, it's still still on the pallet, waiting on those bolts so we can get this off the pallet. That's still on the tire. I uh, got a table and put the trans up on the table. I didn't touch anything up here. The header is up there though. Uh, like I said, well, as soon as I get the bolts in for that, uh, or for the stand, I should say, that'll be put on the stand, and then that would be put. Um, I'll fix that. Put it right side up and then sell it i really wanted to in this video pull that out and then put that one on there and stuff like that but obviously i keep running into issues with that so it is what it is i'm not in a rush i'm glad i made it this far though before the new year uh with that being said hope everyone has a good new year and um 2023 we're gonna start start really picking up steam with this thing so it's it's coming together hope you guys had a good holiday and enjoy the new year i will see you guys next video